Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study many operations with rational numbers. And that means, that means many operations with fractions and decimals. Here are some calculations we're going to do for starters and then one word problem. This one here is decimals. There's decimal multiplication, first of all, even though it doesn't point it out. It's not written with the little cross or any other symbol because when we put the number in parentheses, then it means, this means multiplication and then subtraction. Of course, we do the multiplication first here. And I can do that mentally. I can just multiply 12 times 6 equals 72, right? And then think about my decimal point. There's one decimal digit, one decimal digit. I need two decimal digits in my answer, therefore. And then we do the subtraction. Now notice that I'm subtracting just a smaller number minus a bigger number. So I know my answer will be a negative number. What I need to do is subtract the absolute values and then take the answer as negative. So I will actually subtract 1.52 minus 0 0.72. And of course it's like 15 minus 7 equals 8, so I just get 8 tenths. But the answer is negative 8 tenths. Here, the fraction multiplication. We do it just normally, using the normal fraction multiplication. The only thing is there's a mixed number here in between. So that means I need to change that into a fraction first, okay? 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1. This would be 10 over 3. And then I have here 3 eighths and then negative 1 half. Okay, I'm writing the multiplication symbol there now instead of the parentheses. Either way is fine. The answer will be negative because there's one negative factor and then these two positives. Okay, and now here before I multiply I will simplify. Here's a 3 and 3 they cancel out. Then there's 10 and 8 or 2. 10 and 2, they're both divisible by 2 so this leaves 1, this leaves 5. And now nothing else simplifies. On the top I have 1 times 1 times 5. And then here on the bottom just 8. And negative. Negative 5 eighths is the answer. This here might look strange if you haven't seen it before. It's called a complex fraction. But all it is is a fraction divided by a fraction. So we can calculate it by writing the first fraction. Then a regular division symbol like that and the other fraction. So these are the same thing. Division written with this symbol or division written with that symbol. But this is called a complex fraction when it is written in this form. Now we just use regular division of fractions. This is changed into a multiplication and this is flipped. And now here nothing simplifies so I just multiply and get 14 over 15. So it was simple after all, right? This might look monstrous, I hope not. Uh, it might look difficult. But again, all it is is a simple mixed number divided by a fraction. And then there's a subtraction too. Okay, but we work it out normally. Let's first write this. Instead of fraction line, write it using this division symbol. So we get 8 and 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths. And then there's the subtraction too. And now we divide normally. This changes into a multiplication. This needs to be written as a fraction. So we get 35 fourths times, and then this we need to find the reciprocal or flip it. 8 over 5, like that. And then there's the subtraction still there too, don't forget that. Now here in this multiplication, I can simplify again before I multiply. There's 4 and 8, and then 35 and 5. So this actually leaves the 7 times 2, or 14. Leaves me 14, subtract 1 and 1 fourth. So then this is 12 and 3 fourths. And lastly, a fraction subtraction. And there are there's three different denominators here. And uh, I think I can just use one common denominator. 8 and 5 would need to use 40, but 40 will work for 2 too. So I will now change this so that 
each fraction will have a common denominator, 40. Okay? And then this last one will be 1 and 20 over 40. Over here we have 8 times 5 is 40, so 5 times 5. 5 times 8 is 40, so 3 times 8, 24. All right. And I can do this. Now there's several ways to proceed. I could subtract these two first and then go on to this one. Or I could write this as a fraction 2 at this point already. I'm going to go over there now. 25 minus 24 is pretty easy to do. So I will get 1 over 40 from this first subtraction. And then this here, I will change it now into a fraction instead of a mixed number. So we'll get 60 over 40. All right. And now in this fraction subtraction, you just subtract the top numbers, right? We get 1 minus 60 on the top, and then the denominator is 40. 1 minus 60 is negative 59. So we get actually a negative fraction, 59 over 40. And this fraction, you can, if you want to, you can change it into a mixed number. That would be 1 and 19 over 40.